From Adele's very public admission of postpartum depression to Michael Phelps' ADHD, these are the celebrities with hidden disorders that you didn't know about. Singer and songwriter Dan Reynolds struggles with depression. I tell my younger self one thing. Uh, I've dealt with depression for a long time. It started in middle school, and I would have told myself to see a therapist earlier. Don't wait. It does not make you weak. You are not broken. Despite being a part of the chart-topping band Imagine Dragons, he's had his fair share of struggles with depression. He has been very open about feeling depressed as hell since 2012. Despite all the commercial success and rewards that come with a musical career, he even said it was very scary to feel empty despite having everything you've ever wanted. It's feeling like nothing could actually make things better. But being a new husband and father has given Reynolds a newfound motivation. Parenthood has really led him to make positive changes in his life. He said that it made him feel like he needed to re evaluate his life and find a deeper appreciation for it. Another musician who has suffered from depression is Lizzo. She went through a really tough time when she released her song, Truth Hurts. In fact, she said it was one of the darkest days of her career. Rewire my emotions. And I think that's the scariest and worst part about depression and sadness and anxiety is that it's in your body, you know? There's nothing external that can change it. Can you believe that? She even thought about quitting music altogether because she felt like nobody cared about her best song ever. But thankfully, her producer, publicist, and family rallied around her and encouraged her to keep going. They told her that this was just the darkest before the dawn phase of her life. And guess what? They were right. Now the song that made her want to quit is the one that really made her. But it's just that I could never imagine someone as chirpy as Lizzo being depressed. Even the next person on my list was a surprise. Jonathan Van Ness of Queer Eye has regular back of depression and anxiety. He actually opened up to the Trevor Project back in 2019 about how he struggles with depression and anxiety. When we're identified fully with our depression, it will say things. Like it will say like, well, you have no joy. You have no way out. You, there will be a negative internal critic in our mind that we need to be able to disassociate from and pull ourselves away from. He talked about how it's not as easy as just telling yourself to be happy. And somehow, sometimes it feels like there's no way out. He explained that when you're really stuck in your depression, there's this little voice in your head that tells you you're never going to feel joy again. But he also said that it's really important to try to separate yourself from that voice and realize that it's not the truth. One of the things that have helped him is having a support system, someone to whom you can talk when you're feeling really down. Jonathan said that when you can share your feelings with someone you trust, that can help you realize that you're not alone and that you're not unlovable or shameful. Basically, he wants people to know that even though depression and anxiety can feel really overwhelming, there's always hope for a brighter future. You just have to be kind to yourself and seek out support when you need it. And that's exactly what this former Disney star did too. Selena Gomez has quit social media to deal with her mental health. She made the announcement on TikTok just last week, incidentally, also the week that she became the most followed woman on Instagram. Now the pop star has had quite a few health issues. She had to undergo a kidney transplant because of lupus, and the side effects of the disease include panic attacks, anxiety, and depression. In 2019, she won the McLean Award for Mental Health Advocacy, and she used her acceptance speech to talk about her own struggles. She said that the year before, she had to take a break from social media and even checked herself into a facility to get help with her mental health. And then a year later, she decided to share her story with everyone. In her speech, she was really honest about how tough it was for her. She said, I wasn't able to keep it all together. I couldn't even pretend to be okay. I had to stop because I, I had everything and I was absolutely broken inside. And I kept it all together enough to where I would never let you down, but I kept it too much together to where I let myself down. Gomez also talked about how scary it was when all of her pain and anxiety hit her at once. But the good news is that she got help from doctors and was finally able to get a clear diagnosis and understand what was really going on with her. One of Hollywood's biggest stars has also been very vocal about his hidden disorder. Leonardo DiCaprio's obsessive compulsive disorder is pretty bad. The Oscar winner has talked about how he feels like he has to step on every gum stain he sees on the sidewalk and wanting to walk through doorways multiple times. But even though it can be challenging, he's found ways to manage his symptoms. In fact, when he played the role of Howard Hughes in The Aviator, he was able to draw on his own experience with OCD to portray the character. Show me all the blueprints. All right. I'm serious now. Show me all the blueprints. Oh, I want to get this done right, so show me all the blueprints. 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 
Hughes himself suffered from the disorder. One strategy that's been helpful for him is positive self-talk. He said that he keeps telling himself that he doesn't have to do that thing and that nothing bad will happen if he doesn't step on that gum stain. Leo is just one of millions of people who live with the condition every day. In fact, many big names are also living with the disorder. Daniel Radcliffe, Charlize Theron, and Justin Timberlake all suffer from OCD. By the time the Harry Potter actor was a household name at the age of 10, he knew something was wrong. Most importantly, he understood that it was something that had to be treated. One of his compulsions was to constantly repeat things he said under his breath, but he sought help from a therapist and has been able to overcome it. The South African actress has said that it's no fun living with OCD. She even said how she couldn't sleep at night thinking about her cabinets and what things didn't belong in there. Theron admitted that becoming a mother did help the situation. Timberlake suffers from both OCD and ADHD. That's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and has often talked about just how difficult it can be to function in such conditions. Talking it up <laughs> on the very good talk show. <laughs> Talking about issues. Talking about in fact, ADHD is more common than we think. Many of us just haven't been diagnosed. But champion swimmer Michael Phelps was diagnosed with ADHD at the age of 9. Yup, the guy with the record-breaking 28 Olympic medals, 23 of them being gold medals, just goes to show how even the finest of humans can suffer from a hidden condition. The swimming pool actually became a safe haven for him, a place where he could release all that excess energy. Phelps has also used his platform to raise awareness about ADHD and encouraged others with the condition to pursue their dreams. He's also been an advocate for mental health awareness and has spoken openly about his struggles with depression and anxiety. Another disorder that's just not spoken about enough is postpartum depression, which sets in after childbirth. Both Chrissy Teigen and Adele admitted just how excruciating it was for them. The model and wife of John Legend came out about her postpartum depression in 2017. She talked about how she had everything she needed to be happy, but the depression and sadness just stayed. I wanted to be a part of this cause because it's so important to me to normalize the stigma of postpartum depression for women. I think it's important for women to come together, seek treatment, seek help, and know that they're vulnerable and not alone. She even said that everyone around her had recognized the symptoms except her, but she chose to speak up to help other women recognize their situation and get help. The British pop star had similar issues after the birth of her son Angelo. She admitted that she lost parts of herself in the experience. What also kept bothering her were thoughts about what kind of parent she would be. Adele actually had a pretty bad case of postpartum depression. She made a pretty good point about why this happens, so you're basically just giving everything to this person who can't even talk to you. No wonder it takes such a toll on millions of women everywhere. And those were just some of the celebrities living with hidden disorders. Without touching the paper. Repeated from the beginning. Repeated from the beginning. Repeated from the beginning.